I was in the mood to kind of switch up my look today and I wanted to try this bold lip trend that I feel like really takes off in the fall and winter months. I just think there's something so striking about a bold lip and it kind of makes me feel like really confident, honestly. So today I'm gonna walk you through this entire makeup look and I used a lot of products from brands that are doing some really good sales for Black Fridays. A lot of these are top favorite brands of mine. But before we get into this makeup look, this video is kindly sponsored by one of my favorite jewelry brands, Ana Luisa. I've been working with Ana Luisa for a few years now on my channel and they really are one of my favorite jewelry brands, probably most of my pieces are from Ana Luisa. They create high quality, affordable jewelry that starts at $39 and their pieces are so long lasting. I have not had any tarnishing with any of my pieces and I wear them in the shower. I wear them in the gym. Like I am wearing these pieces 24 seven. So I wanted to show you guys two of my newest pieces from Ana Luisa, starting with this really cute pendant necklace. I am always wearing some sort of gold necklace and I love the simplicity of this piece and the little pearl pendant that it has in the center. It's just like a little moon wrapped around this pearl pendant. Pendant. I think it is so pretty and it goes really nicely with the ring that I got a couple months ago You can see these have the same little pearl piece and I love this ring too because it's reversible So I do wear the white side a lot But you can flip it around to green and then I have a new pair of earrings that I just cannot stop wearing These have kind of become one of my new go-to style of earrings But if I want something a little bit more glam these are the paloma mini earrings And I think these are so cute because they kind of wrap around your ear almost it's not like a dangly earring It's not a hoop, but it just hugs your ear in such a pretty way. They also have a two-year warranty on all of their pieces. So if you have any issues with any of their jewelry, they will take care of that for you. Ana Luisa is doing one of their biggest sales of the year. They are doing up to 35% off. So pretty much the more you buy, the more you save. They have so many cute pieces on their website. I have not been disappointed by anything I've tried from them. So whether you're shopping for someone else or maybe just a gift to yourself, I think anyone would love their pieces. If you want to check out their sale, I'll leave a link down below for you at the top of the description box. So thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video. And now let's get into this bold lip makeup tutorial. All right, let's get started. I already popped on my Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla to give my lips some hydration as I do the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna quickly prime my skin with the Merit Great Skin Priming Moisturizer. My skin's feeling a bit dry today, so I love this primer to give me a little bit of moisture and also just kind of smooth over my skin. Especially since I'm going for more of a glowy makeup look today, I want my skin to be nice and hydrated. Now for my foundation, I'm gonna use the Sigma Skin Tint and I'm using the shade two. Now this skin tint is kind of different from other skin tints I've tried from other brands. It has more of a medium coverage to it and it does have a bit of a glow to it but I find that it's not too glowy on me. Throughout this video I did want to mention some other brands of Black Friday deals that are going on from brands that I truly do love and Sigma is one of them. I believe they're doing up to 40% off on their website. I always list and link the products that I'm using down below but I do have a gift guide with Sigma that'll lead you to a page of all of my favorite Sigma products. You kind of just want to see everything in one place. I just find that the skin tint looks so healthy on my skin and this shade match number two is kind of like a perfect shade match to me, it does have a little bit more of a neutral cool undertone. And then the brush I'm using is the BK Beauty 101. I'm sure you've heard every beauty person in the world talk about this foundation brush, but it really is one of the best foundation brushes I have used. What I've learned is that I prefer BK Beauty for face brushes and Sigma for eye brushes. Both brands of brushes, a lot of bees are so high quality and the brushes are just like kind of indestructible from both of them. And BK Beauty is doing 30% off for Black Friday, but they did also give me a discount code that works until the end of December and that's Angela Bright 30. So you can get 30% off BK Beauty from now until the end of the year, pretty much whenever you want to shop. You might be sick of people talking about their brushes, but they really are so high quality and like very, very soft too. And then you guys know me, I like to have a bit more coverage on my blemishes that are still peeking through. So I'm going to go in with my NARS a Soft Matte concealer in the shade vanilla. I like to use a flat brush to apply this concealer and then I'll use a fluffier one to blend it out. So this one is the A505. And then the fluffier brush I like to use is the A506, which is probably another one you've heard a lot about. And this brush is a bit fluffier, so it really does a nice job at diffusing out the products and just blending it out. And then I like that this brush has a little bit of an angle to it. So I use it for blending out spot concealing. I'll use it under my eyes as well, or just like any smaller areas where you need to conceal. Now for under my eyes, I'm gonna go in with the color corrector. This is the Sigma Color Corrector Duo. I have the shade Light Medium, and I'm taking that same A506 brush and using that to apply it. And this just kind of helps to brighten up my under eyes, hide any discoloration. I think I've gone through three of these color correctors at this point. And then I'll also bring it along my eyelid too, just whatever's left on my brush. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer on my under eyes and my eyelids. I'm using the Natasha Denona one in the shade R2. This has been my favorite concealer ever since it came out, I think almost two years ago now. 
It's such a lightweight serum concealer, yet it has a medium to full coverage, it is buildable, and it just lays really, really nicely on my skin. And I'm using that same A506 brush to blend this out. And I brought this on my eyelid, again, just to cover up any redness and discoloration, because I'm not really gonna do eyeshadow today, maybe just like a touch of shadow or something in the crease, but I don't really need like an eyeshadow primer today, I just really wanted to conceal this area. I'm gonna set my entire eye area with a little bit of powder. I'm gonna use the Kosas a Cloud Set Powder in the shade Airy. Now this is probably one of my top three powders of all time. I believe I've gone through two of these by this point. It just sets my makeup really nicely while kind of giving me a blurred finish, but I also like this because it's not too mattifying, especially for this look when I'm going for something a bit more on the glowy side. And then this brush I'm using is also from Kosas too. I got it in a recent PR package from them and it's kind of become one of my go-to brushes for setting around my eye area because it's just the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. I'm gonna add a little bit of powder down here too. And I believe for Black Friday that Kosas is doing a 25% off site-wide. And then just a little bit on my forehead too. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna use this Gucci bronzer that I got during the Sephora sale. This was highly recommended by Jen Phelps. And I'm using a BK Beauty N17 brush to apply this. This brush was made in collaboration with Nikki LaRose. And what's cool about it is that it's a dual ended brush. So it's a pretty cool little multitasking brush and you really don't see many dual fiber ended brushes like this. I'm gonna add a bit of bronzer around my cheek. Now I can have a pretty heavy hand with bronzer, so I like to go back to my foundation brush and just kind of tap on top of that to kind of blend it better into my skin. Now when I normally do my makeup looks, I usually end with lips, but I feel like in this case, because the lip is kind of the focus of the look, I wanna pop that on now and then do my eyes and my blush kind of based off of how the lip looks. So this is kind of what inspired this entire video. These are three new shades of the Lip Velvet from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now this is a formula I really have been liking. I have these two more nude shades that I wear a lot. I have Peachy Nude and Pure Hollywood. These are my everyday go-tos, but these deeper shades are so pretty. First we have Crimson and this is a beautiful red shade but personally I wear red lipstick once a year and that's on Christmas so I feel like this could be my Christmas lipstick and then we have chestnut and this is a deep warm brown I think this shade is beautiful but I don't really wear brown lips a lot so I'm a little nervous to see how this would look and then last is brownie and this is a deep malt brown I'm kind of debating between the two browns they look kind of similar this one's just deeper this one has I don't know maybe a touch more warmth in it mmm I think I wanna do the deepest one brownie. Whenever I do my lips, I always just like to stamp over them with my foundation brush, just to get rid of some of the natural pigment that I have. And then lining my lips with my Makeup Forever Lip Liner and Endless Cacao. Let's go in with brownie. These are called the Lip Velvet Liquid Lipsticks, but don't let the words liquid lipstick scare you because it's nothing like we saw in 2016. They're actually so comfortable on the lips. They have kind of a moussey formula to them, but they have a full pigment and they make your lips look really smooth. That is so dark. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn this dark of a lip in so long. I kind of want to see how a little bit of chestnut would look on top, just since the tones are a little bit different between these two. This looks pretty good from far away, but I am a perfectionist with my lip especially with the bold lip color. Like you don't want to have any sloppy lines or, you know, things out of place. So I'm going to take a little smudge brush. This one's by Sigma with a bit of brownie and just kind of use this to really perfect my lip line. And while I'm doing this, I find that it's helpful to look really close into my mirror, but then also kind of step back and see what it looks like from a distance to see if the shape is even. I wanted to zoom in just to show you how smooth this looks on my lips. Like this is not a crusty liquid lipstick formula at all. I'm happy that I popped on that lip first because now it kind of gives me an idea of what I can do for my eyes and cheeks. Since the lip is more of a warmer brown for my blush, I'm gonna use this Fenty blush in the shade Bacon Cakes. Just because this shade has a bit of a toastiness and kind of a brown undertone to it. I'm gonna use that same N17 brush to apply this. I really do like the formula of this blush. It has a bit of a sheen to it and it's kind of like a cream to powder formula. I only own one of these, but I'm kind of interested to see what deal they're doing for Black Friday because I might pick up another shade. Now, since the lip is clearly the focus of this look for the eyes, I'm gonna keep it very simple and I'm actually gonna take that blush on a fluffy crease brush and run that throughout my entire crease. Just to give me a little bit of color and a little bit of definition in my crease. And it's also gonna give a really nice kind of monochromatic look with having the same shade on my eye and my cheeks. And then I'll also bring a little bit on my lower lash line. Again, I'm just still using this fluffy brush to apply it. I don't need to be too precise or anything. 
Now I want to add just a little bit of sparkle to the eyelid. So I'm going to go into one of my favorite palettes that I bought this year. That is the Guest Stoned palette. I cannot stop talking about this palette everywhere. Specifically, the neutral shades in this palette are everything to me. Champagne is my go-to, Old Money, these guys over here. I don't get a lot of use out of like the green, the red, and the gold, but everything else I love. And I believe Guest Stoned is doing 35% off for Black Friday. So that makes this palette less than $30. I did post a short where I was comparing the Patrick Ta Duo and We Need Better Lighting to two shades from this palette palette and honestly the formulas are very very similar this is $42 this is $42 but it's on sale for Black Friday so I'm just gonna take my fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dip it into champagne just to pick up some of that shadow kind of scattered like and then I'm just gonna dust that on the center of my eyelid so you can use your fingers with this if you want like a full impact but for this kind of look I want something just a bit softer a little bit more of a scattered sparkle effect I actually think I might pick up another one of this palette during Black Friday because of that shade champagne like I said it's my most used I have such a big pan on this shadow and I just see the pan getting bigger and bigger every week and it's probably my favorite shadow that I've discovered this year honestly I really don't think I've ever raved about an eyeshadow so much but it's just gorgeous and everyone I recommended it to is like Angela it is gorgeous so that makes me feel good about my recommendation I'm gonna give my lashes a quick curl and I'm gonna apply my favorite mascara this is the tower 28 make waves mascara and I'm using the brown shade drift I really just love how this mascara lifts and separates my lashes. All right, so there's the look with just mascara, but you guys know me. Of course, I have to pop on some lashes, so I'm gonna pop on the Bright Lashes Whisper, which is my lash brand. Of course, I had to mention my own Black Friday sale, so all of the lashes on my website are gonna be $9 when they are normally at $12 each. All of my lashes are made out of synthetic fiber, so they're cruelty-free, there's no animal fur. I carry a range of styles. We have my most natural style minimalist all the way to a bold style, something like Daydream. I also carry four styles of half lashes that are my best sellers. I'd have to say Flutter and Whisper are my top two sellers in case you're wondering. So again, the lash I'm applying today is Whisper. This is a half lash and what's nice about it is that it's a pretty short half lash. It's not super long like a lot of lashes you see on the market. I also recommend half lashes for beginners because they're so much easier to apply than a full strip lash. I use a brush on glue to apply my lashes. My go-to for years has been the Duo brush on glue. It's a clear and it has the green writing. It says like with vitamins on it. I do have a whole playlist down below on how to apply your lashes so I'll link that down below for you in case you need some help. Okay lashes are on and now I'm going to add a little bit of a black liner to my tight line just to kind of help blend in that lash band. I'm definitely happy I added the lashes for this look. I almost didn't do it, but because this lip is so, so dark, I thought that having a little bit more of this boldness on my eyes with the lashes kind of evens everything out. Now I do want to finish up the eyes with just a little highlighter shade. So I'm going to go into my palette with Sigma and I'm going to take the shade bright on a pencil brush. This is my go-to highlighter. Just pop that right in the inner corner. A tiny bit under the brow. I do believe my palette and my brush set are on sale for Black Friday. I honestly just don't know the percentage off at this moment, but again, it will be linked down below. I'm gonna do one more finishing touch. I'm just feeling a bit glowy right here in the center of my face. So I'm taking my Huda Beauty Loose Powder and Pound Cake and just kind of pressing that into these slightly glowier areas. I do know that Huda Beauty does quite a big sale for Black Friday as well. I think they do like up to 80% off, kind of crazy. All right, I touched up my hair and everything is complete. This is the final look. I gotta say, I really love how this turned out. I love the simplicity of the eyes with a little bit of sparkle. And then the bold lip is so different for me, but I'm kind of feeling this color. I had so much fun creating this look for you guys and talking about a lot of the Black Friday deals going on from some of my favorite brands. I wanna say thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring the beginning portion of this video. Again, if you wanna check out any of their pieces, I'll leave a link down below for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.